An Arnold versus South Walton baseball matchup never disappoints. They split in the regular season. The Seahawks won part three for the district title, but it was part four to win a region title tonight, something South Walton has never done as a 4A program, and Arnold has never done ever. After shutting down the Seahawks in the top of the first, from the mound, Cooper Moss picks up a bat and puts the ball over the right field wall. It's the junior Florida Gator commits a third home run in three playoff games. He's got the Marlins on top, one to nothing. But the Florida State commit Braxton Varnes heats up, and he's going to keep the Marlins with that lonesome run through three complete innings. It's the fourth when the Auburn commit, Coleman Borthwick, takes the mound, and he's going to strike out Three in his first outing. Some stellar pitching tonight. Moss getting up in the pitch count, but keeping the Hawks scoreless through five complete innings. He's fired up. It's not to the top of the six. He shows some signs of being mortal. Charlie Wilcox pulls off a gutsy bunt to bring home Gavin Garrity to tie the game at one all. But it's this play that truly changes the game. A 6-4-3 double play by the Marlins halts South Walton's momentum. But due to the ball hitting an infield umpire on the leg, before the shortstop snagged it, they call it a dead ball. Batter is walked to first, and that will do it for Moss on the pitch count. He walks to the dugout with bases loaded and two outs. It's chaos for the Marlins. Two batters will be walked for a two-run lead, and the Seahawks blow it out of the water from there. South Walton pulling away late for a 6-1 to one victory, ending Arnold's historic season. The Seahawks advancing to their first Final Four since they were a 1A school in 2017.